broadcasting from an undisclosed location under a farm pond somewhere in the Midwest. Your host is Jim Crowley. This is Slick Fish Radio. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Slickfish Radio. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight. I have I have some great things planned. Uh, we have a great guest tonight. I've been looking forward to talking to this guy uh, for a long time. Pat Schlopper is going to be BASS Elite Pro, is going to be joining us in just a couple minutes. I'm glad we got everything worked out. You know, the great thing about going live is everything can go wrong. <laughs> and sometimes it does. And we're lucky enough to figure it out. And we're glad that he is going to be here tonight. i uh, got a lot of stuff to talk to him about. He has been on fire the last two years after working at Shields uh, and then deciding to go pro. I think he's fished somewhere around 23 tournaments, been in the money 19 times. That is no small feat. So I'm looking forward to talking to him. Um, also, we have new discount codes. We have a new discount code for you tonight from Cast King, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a couple things after we're done talking to Pat. Um, and so we're gonna throw out a couple uh, discount codes tonight from American Tackle as well as Cast King to save you up to twenty percent on stuff. But I've got to give you a review after we're done talking with Pat about a couple of the reels that I've been trying, uh, and a couple of things that I, I I don't like reinventions of the wheel. And I've seen some new things come on the market that we're going to start incorporating some of this new stuff in the show that I, I want to pass on to you as the show continues to grow. And so after we're done interviewing Pat tonight, I am going to show you a couple of the new products out there. We're going to give you some discount codes for them um, in case you're interested. Uh, and then we can, if you guys got any questions about that, we can talk about that. But before we get into anything, he's got a lot I want to talk to Pat about. I want to first and foremost, one, thank all of you joining in. You guys are already chiming in here tonight. Thank you so much uh, for doing that. I, I love having you all and, and you're chiming in. Please, questions, comments, make sure for those of you going to join us later on Roku, on Fire TV, on Amazon Music, on iTunes, on Spotify, uh, all that stuff is growing. Thank you all so very much. God bless all of you for doing it. And of course, all of you on Roku and Fire TV as well as YouTube and here on Facebook. So I want to thank uh, all our friends at American Tackle. Uh, just a great company. Got some new products coming out this fall. We're going to be having more interviews coming up in the near future and we'll let you know about all that stuff so you have a shot at some of that new stuff. Just got back from lacrosse, filmed another great show, actually season 13 or season one, episode 13, which is now up on Wired to Fish TV. Uh, just got finished filming in lacrosse there. It was cold. We caught largemouth, smallmouth, great, and a big pike. Great times there in lacrosse as always. Shields, want to thank them in Springfield, Illinois. Uh, just because fall is here, just because if you may not be fishing, they got plenty of hunting stuff. They got plenty of stuff for hiking. Shields has everything. You know what I feel about Shields. It's it's the best store on the planet. We are powered, as always, by Dakota Lithium. Uh, a couple of weeks ago on the cross, I did 19 hours straight without charging the battery. Those lithium batteries did an awesome job for me. No loss of power. Got home and they still charged in two and a half hours. And it just... Several years ago, that was unheard of, folks. I'm just telling you. Just thank you for everybody at Dakota Lithium. I'm going to bring in uh, Pat Schlopp here. Pat, welcome to the show. I love the background, dude. That if, if my green screen wasn't up, you'd see a lot of the same stuff. How the heck are you? I'm I'm good. I'm actually at one of my friend's house because our Wi-Fi is out. Oh. So, yeah, he's got the cool <laughs> basement. Oh, well, you know what? He's got good taste then. Hey, that's good. <laughs> that that's great. You're in you're in my favorite state. If I didn't live in Illinois, I'd be living in Wisconsin. I'm only there about 25 times a year. Uh, we just got back from Lacrosse, uh, fished a bunch of lakes in southern Wisconsin for my other show on Wired to Fish uh, TV this year. We we're in Delavan, then we fished Lacrosse, Lake Geneva, all that kind of stuff up there. And Shatek is your is one of your or the chain right there. That's one of your favorites, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, I. It's not my favorite to go like fun fish on, but I love it for tournaments just because <laughs> I've got a lot of history out there and we we uh, we typically do pretty well. So, uh, like I said, not somewhere if I got a, f you know, free day to go fun fish, I don't typically go there. But yeah. if there's a tournament up there, I'm trying to sign up. Now, you and a buddy just won a recent tournament, did you? Where was where was that at? That was on Chatech Chain. That was a championship for uh, probably the 
the biggest trail in our area, the Upper Midwest Bass Challenge Series. It's a there's three divisions. There's a river division, a, a Central Lakes, and then a Western Lakes. And uh, every year they do a combined championship and they kind of move it around the state depending upon, you know, what year it is. They'll go to the river one year, they'll go to the Eastern Lakes one year. And this year it just happened to be on, on my home lake. So um, got to jump in it and uh, it, was, it was a pretty good payday for around here. Yeah, and I was going to say sometimes that home lake, when I, when I used to fish a lot of tournaments, sometimes your home lake can be at a disadvantage. Uh, just because you know so many spots and sometimes it can be it can be hard to follow your gut or what you think you should do but you've won you've won there quite a few times and didn't you win that championship before we won it back in 2014 and that was actually up on the turtle flambeau flowage up by park falls oh yeah um and i fished that circuit since it started i think it was 2011 2012 and been really close to winning other ones. We've gotten second a few times, third, fourth. Uh, but this is only the second one we've won, and and it's a uh, it's a big accomplishment because, I mean, there's a lot of teams in it, and pretty much the who's who of of each area of the state fishes it. So uh, it was pretty cool to win, and I, and I got to fish with one of my really good friends, my my normal tournament partner that I don't get to fish with much anymore. So we put some time in and. Uh, figured out a couple little deals and it, and it worked out. It was pretty fun. Yeah, that's great. And it's fun. And, and like my tournament partner is a, is a longtime friend. We still hit a couple local tournaments around here, but it's always fun when you do well together because then you can really enjoy it uh, with the other, because you're going to be talking about it over a beer sooner or later, uh, probably sooner than later. Yeah. M yeah. More often than <laughs> that. And, and that's a good time. You mentioned park falls and, and years and years and years ago, um, I used to, I, I did some promotional work for St. Croix rods and I know you're with St. Croix. And, um, so back years ago, I used to know a buddy up there, Rich Belanger, who, if you go back any time, Rich used to work for them for a long time, uh, was their promotions guy back years ago. And, and, uh, but they're, they're a great company and, and you work with some other great, uh, people. I, I saw that you do some stuff with big bites and a, and a long time friend of mine is Vance Gordon in the industry mm -hmm. who still works with them. Yeah. You're shaking your head. Everybody knows big, sexy. <laughs> just that's just that's just how we've him and I've been friends for 25 years, dude. So you can imagine how many hot dogs I've seen that guy eat over the years. I'm just I can only you. imagine. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I've known Vance, you know, since you know, working at Shields, running the fishing shop for oh, a yeah. long time. That's where I first met him, and uh, he's one definitely one of the best ones in the business at, oh, yeah. at his position for you know, dealing with as many people as I did when I was running that fishing shop, you, you kind of learn the ones you can rely on and sure. who will return your call and give you the help you need when you're trying to make an order. We got questions about product and Vance always would answer his phone. And if he couldn't, he would call you back that day. And so, yeah, I still talk to him pretty regular and he's definitely helped me advance, you know, within the big bite family. Um, he's a great guy. Yeah. I, th I think him and I have known each other probably almost almost 30 years so yeah. we worked back in st croix together and and then um we both went different ways and still kept in contact over, over the year matter of fact i just talked to him a couple of weeks ago uh because he had a swimming craw that uh he helped develop the color for and that i wanted and there was only one place to get it it was k and k hardware uh and i think and i said dude i I'd, I'd really like to get that color again and uh he goes we'll call k and k so i ordered 200 just so i wouldn't have to deal with it um for <laughs> just because i really like it and so, um, but yeah, he, he's a great guy. Like you said, it's, it's, it's still today. It's very nice when somebody answers the phone or returns your call when you really have to get something. And Vance is one of those ones that, yeah, he'll be like, Hey, I'll call you back in 10 minutes and he'll probably call you back in nine. Yeah, he's just, exactly. He, he's just one. Of those. And so one of the things I have a great relationship with Shields here in Illinois and um, we, we work on some of the high school kids and stuff together. You work there uh, for, for a while before you actually started the pro thing. And, and they're a heck of a store. Um, I, I've always told people that that's the only store that I know where the employees actually work on commission. So they have to know their department. So not only are you a good angler, when you're working there, you had to know what your product lines were, not one product line, but you had to know all of them because it, that was what helped you do your best to inform the public. Isn't that correct? Yeah. Shields is a lot different than most, well, any other store in, in a lot of regards, but you know, I started there when I was in college in 2004 and after I graduated in 2006, I went, you know, full-time probably 2007 and I 
I still work there. I mean, I still work there part time. Um, but I left in 2020 to go, you know, try to fish. And I, I honestly, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able to go do what I did if I hadn't worked there. I learned a lot about, you know, obviously stuff within the fishing industry, sure. making relationships. I learned how to, how to sell product really well, which in turn has helped me sell myself really well. And exactly. uh, Shields is just uh, so unique. And we, you know, a lot of positions are commission based, but it's not, yes, we make more money because of that, but it honestly, the, the main reason they do that is that we get extensive training and it's to provide the best service to the customer. And, you know, if, if a customer doesn't want to get, get help from us, we obviously will leave them alone, but a lot of relationships that you develop and clientele is, is from people that learn to trust you because of the expertise of whatever person you're working with in certain areas. So it's a lot different and that's why they are so successful and why the company has grown a lot, you know, just in the years that I've worked there. So, um, not, a, not a, I can't think of a better place to work and definitely can't think of a better place to shop. You know, it's interesting that you say that because I've got some really good friends over at Shields, Justin Sedevi, who works over at, that's how I got your information because we were talking about you and him and I were fishing together. And, um, it, it's interesting because he feels the same way. And I, I wouldn't be saying this to all of you out there. I wouldn't be saying that. I have talked to more Shields employees that truly, honestly love their job. They feel they have a stake in the success of the company. And honestly, working with Shields over the last four or five years, you're very low. Matter of fact, the same people I started working with when I promotion wise when I was there are still there. And there's a reason be uh, behind that i've heard from every one of them i love my job this is a fun job i love what i get to do well there that to me is a very successful business model and i think what you said there it helped you sell product and it helped you sell yourself i would i i, I think that is one of the best statements that i've had a pro on on this show say because there are some high school and college kids that watch this besides being good at fishing there is more to being a professional at this level than being able to catch fish. And I think what you said, it you have to be able to know how to sell that product. You have to believe in it and you have to know how to sell yourself. Can you go a little bit into about what you're feeling about, hey, I, I learned this and this has really come to help me. And before I have you answer, I noticed a post last week where you were signing autographs for kids and you said, this is still new. It's still exciting. I honestly hope that you keep that feeling for as long as your career, because I always felt when somebody asked me for mine, that it's a privilege, it's an honor that never gets old. And I could see by just the way you were signing that hat and the pictures and some of the stuff I was watching, you were like, hey, this is this is really cool, but it's still unexpected. What is what is that meant in the last little while of you kind of learning that and adapting to that? Well, as far as like the, you know, autographs and, and having some sort of a fan base, it's just I'm a really humble person. And yep. that's just how I was raised. And honestly, mm -hmm. you know, the culture at Shields, that's a big part of it. And, uh, you know, you see the big name guys like the Jason Christie's and the Hackney's and the Polonics and. And they always have people around them that want their autograph and know who they are. But just the fact that every event, you know, I might sign five at one, I might sign 20 at one. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that some kid is for some reason, something I did or said, or a fish I caught, maybe a, you know, a, a, a sponsor on the boat, for some reason they have an attachment to what I'm doing. Sure. And they enough so that they think it's cool to get an autograph from me. Um, I don't feel like I'm special at all. I mean, I'm very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in. Mm -hmm. But um, s some people kind of get get an ego with that stuff. And, you know, anybody who follows the sport can probably pick out who them people sure. are. And uh, I'm not I, I won't ever be like that. And. Uh, so anytime I sign an autograph, definitely a privilege. It's, it makes me feel kind of cool, but same time, I know I'm not that cool. I'm just very fortunate to be where I'm at. So I don't know 
if I ever do anything to all of a sudden become a, a big name guy, I, I hope I, I stay like that. I really feel like I will just because of my upbringing, like I say, my background sure. with shields and, and just the type of person I am. So uh, definitely different though. Not something I ever thought I'd have to do in my life, but <laughs> it's really cool every time I get to do sure. it, especially when it's a young kid that, yep. you know, is acting a little nervous and because you're, you're, you're someone they look up to and that's pretty neat to me. That is very, very cool. Hey, uh, we'll, we'll get into some of the Elite Series stuff and everything. We're going to do, we're going to take a little bit of a break here, about uh, two minutes, as everybody knows. And then we get back, we're going to continue this great conversation. So glad to have Pat uh, with us tonight. We'll talk a little bit about his, his the year that he qualified for the Bassmasters Classic and, and just fishing in general. He's, um like I said, he's done catch 19 times out of 23 events you're doing something right there buddy you really really are and he's having fun and he's being humble and representing the sport very well we'll be back in two minutes american tackle is home to the award-winning microwave line control system rod blanks the real seats ferrules the finish grips the guides they're committed to the very best in rod building components find out more american tackle.us with fishing beyond your expectations, indoor and outdoor activities, a vast variety of places to eat, drink, and stay. Discover your next adventure between the bluffs. ExploreLacrosse.com. Located in Springfield, Illinois' largest selection of sports and sportswear, hunting, fishing, specialty shops and services, a 65-foot Ferris wheel, 16,000-gallon saltwater aquarium, and industry-leading knowledgeable employees, you don't take chances at Shields ever. Go to Shields.com. Believe in quality is measured by lifespan and harnessing their unique chemistry and engineering know-how. Dakota Lithium lasts four times longer, powering your passion with an 11-year warranty. Find out more, dakotalithium.com. Slick Fish Radio with Jim Crowley can be seen and heard on Roku, Fire TV, Spotify, Amazon Music, and iTunes. Get in here. Yeah, nice fish right there. Hi, I'm Jim Crowley. Make sure you catch my show, Jim Crowley Outdoors, Monday to Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, exclusively on Wired to Fish TV. Look for Jim Crowley Outdoors on Wired to Fish TV on free, ad-supported streaming TV, including Plex, that can be downloaded in the App Store at Apple TV, Roku, Samsung, and others. We are back with Pat Slaver. And Pat, thanks again for joining us tonight. And uh, he had to go all the way over to his friend's basement to make sure we were going to pull this off. He really made this work, and I and and I really appreciate that. Hey, you could live next door to him. I don't know, and they don't know that. So, but <laughs> but but I really I really appreciate you being here. So, what is what is life on? So you you have a you have a stable job, you love catching fish, and then you go, okay, I think I'm going to do this, and when you when you do something like that, it's either all in half half ass and it don't work. You've, you've got to go all in when you made that decision and you did it. What do you think was first thing comes to mind? What was one of the biggest things you think you had to overcome to go? Hey, I think I'm going to make this. I think it was just. For me, you know, the the fact that I had such a good job and a stable job and I was very financially stable and at a point where I had put enough time in with shields that if I really, you know, if I worked for 10 more years, I would be very set for the rest of my life financially. Um, that was the hardest thing that kind of, that held me back for a while. And then it just got to the point where, I was, you know, I was 38, I think when I left. So mm -hmm. pretty late in, in fishing terms anyways, sure. but I just knew I had to try it. And when my dad told me to go do it, my wife told me to go do it. Then that was when I decided that I need to try it because I knew I would regret it if I didn't. So once I kind of looked at my situation and thought like it's, Yes, I'm walking away from a great career, even though I still work there and they're still my title sponsor. Um, but at the same time, I didn't want to live life, you know, look when I was 60 years old and wish I had gone and done it. So I got really fortunate that it worked out. And, you know, the first year of trying, I double qualified. So um, it really couldn't have worked out a whole lot better than it did. 
Yeah, and, and especially especially at Pickwick too. I, I fished that lake years and years ago at a, at a regional event, um, and it was tough. It, it, it was really tough because the water can change there so much. Um, and what what did you what did you find on that event that led to your to your victory? What time of year was it, and and what happened that led to your victory? It was in November, early November, actually the same time, same week, the championship, the nation championships there this year too. Mm -hmm. But um, I primarily tried to target smallmouth, but I found some spotted bass and some largemouth. So it was a tough bite. I had kind of had to piece it together the first two days and uh, I weighed smallmouth, largemouth and spotted bass the first three days. And uh, I think I was in second or third third going into the last day and then the last day i i finally got on what i knew lived in the tail race area and mm -hmm. i had a gigantic bag of smallmouth and just blew the tournament out of the water so um but it i had to be really you know diverse in the way that i fished to catch to catch the fish the first two days the third day was really it was pretty straightforward everything was on a swim bait the way i wanted to fish um, but the first two days, I mean, I caught them on a jerk bait. I caught them on a Carolina rig. I caught them on a swim bait. You know, I caught them on a lot of different things to get me in position to finally land on the mother load the last day. Yeah, that's interesting. That smallmouth are my favorite fish. And um, whenever I can land, when, when you land on a bunch of them, it's it's fun. And Pickwick has got some freaking mm -hmm. monsters in there. And for them to be hitting a swim bait a couple of times, you probably almost had the rod ripped out of your hand as hard as they hit a swim bait. Almost every time um, <laughs> when I found that big group of them, it was yeah. in the current was really, really heavy. So it, they hit it hard and they fought hard and uh, and they were big. I mean, I think I had. I think i had almost 24 pounds for five yeah so and i went in like three hours early and just sat in the harbor <laughs> <laughs> so i'd have been shaking that whole time dude with 24 pounds of smallmouth well, that didn't happen on was, erie it was off. 23 something i don't Jeez. remember exactly but it was it wasn't 24 but it was close that's, that's um, awesome yeah that's and i awesome. knew i knew that i knew it was no, that probably wasn't going to get beat because the biggest bag weighed in at that point, I think, was 16 pounds. And, oh, yeah. You whack them. Um, yeah, it was really good. So That's cool. Um, so in your terms, in your terms, that would have been the hot zone. That was the hot zone, 100%. Yeah. That was it. Um, that was probably one of the best hot zones I'd ever found. I'm going to use some patch flapper terms here. He was in the hot zone. He definitely wasn't no Jim Jack figuring out them <laughs> fish that day. And uh, so, and, and by the way, you there, if you, if you go on his website, it's pretty fun. I love the, I, I don't ever want to be referred to as a Jim Jack, even I, by patch. I, I don't. Cause that means that, that why don't you, why don't you, why don't you tell people what your hot zone and then Jim Jack, what are those? Well, the hot zone started, it was actually a tournament on, I don't know if you've ever fished Nelson Lake up by Hayward. But there was, it's a, it's a lake I like to fish and, and there was a tournament, actually a series of turns, but I found this one magic area and out in the middle of nowhere, no one ever fished the lake like I was fishing. And I won two, a couple tournaments there. And then I had another tournament coming up and I was out there practicing and any that, so that was coined the hot zone. <laughs> and anytime I saw someone close to it, I'd call my partner and I'd be like, oh, Garrett's really close to the hot zone or Lonnie's really close to the hot, you know, I was just so yeah. paranoid about. So that's how it came about probably five years ago. And now if we, if we find something to be like, yeah, that's the hot zone. So that's how that came from. Then Jim Jack, that's a whole nother <laughs> deal that came from my buddy, Mike Wilmoth, who's just, he's a, he's a creature in himself, but he just, I don't know where he came up with it, but he called somebody a Jim Jack at the landing one day who couldn't back the boat down or whatever it was. And, and it just stuck. And so now we use it pretty commonly with a lot of different areas of life. Because the, the, for, you the know, funny you thing you said that. You want. The funny thing you said that is I'm thinking, so I can think of a bunch of Jim Jacks on Labor Day weekend back yes. in the boat. And that's exactly the thing I thought of backing their boat down the ramp. And you sit there and you just go, I'll bet that this guy yells at his wife <laughs> before the second time it comes back down the ramp. And so now I have an appropriate term. Yeah, that's that. it's a loose definition because like I said, it's it's really any in any part of life, you can use it to describe someone who just isn't 
in, I don't know, not, not doing too good with what they're trying to do. <laughs> uh, uh, some duck hunters I ran into this past weekend would definitely qualify as Jim Jack. So when yeah. we were duck hunting, but, um, Hey power, I, one, I really appreciate you coming on and taking your time and, and, and let my audience know a little bit more. I've been following your stuff and, and it was great to talk to you. I, I hope sometime when we're up in Wisconsin, I know we have a lot of the same mutual friends that we haven't even discussed. I guarantee it. And, uh, and, it, and I hope you come back on the show sometime. You're, the last two years have been great. It's been great to watch. I love watching somebody come in, try to fulfill their dream and do good at it. And and I think there's going to be nothing but great things ahead for you because you got a great head on your shoulder. I, it was a, a absolute pleasure to talk to you. Thanks for letting us come together and, and taking the effort to do it because I sincerely I sincerely appreciate it. Would you please tell people where they can find out more? You got to follow this guy, folks. You, you got to because there, it's, he, he's, his forward, his explanations are straightforward, right to the point. There's no BS. And as you've seen tonight, he's as humble on everything I've seen him and as gracious as he is here. So, Pat, would you please tell them where they can find out more about you? Uh, yeah, just Pat Schlopper Fishing, Facebook and Instagram. I post pretty regular. Um, do a lot of reels. Just, you know, I do some 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 youtube stuff too um not a whole lot of that some some recaps but uh patch lopper fishing you'll find me on pretty much all the platforms that's where i put all my stuff on there so i appreciate you appreciate you having me on too and yeah definitely do it again sometime yeah hopefully uh maybe we, we can get together like i said i'm up there a lot my boat companies up there that i have and i work with several companies up in wisconsin and i just love i i'm, I'm a small mouth nut and so wisconsin and minnesota i spend a lot of time um, up there just because that's just what I love to do. So, um, but thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it. And, uh, God bless you and your family. Have a great Thanksgiving and a great Christmas and we will keep following you and hoping nothing but the best for you. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. What a great guy. I am so lucky on the show to have to have some absolutely fantastic guests on here. And thank all of you for watching tonight. We're gonna um I'm gonna let Pat know later. He can he can share this after this is over. And then of course, you know, we said it's gonna be on our channels on Roku, Fire TV, uh, Amazon Music, and iTunes. And hey, I promised you guys, you guys who are staying around live, and even you guys come back later, I promised you um some code. So first of all, I, I've got to tell you some stuff that I've been trying out. Um, and if you watch in some of the reels and some of the posts on Instagram and YouTube lately, by the way, you can, um, find out more about our growing Instagram page at Jim Crowley outdoors on Instagram and at Jim Crowley outdoors on Facebook, doing a lot more shorts and a lot more reels. And I've done some lately on Cass King's new Kestrel reel. I'm going to put that up here. There it is. That's a Kestrel. Okay. And just so you guys know, you go, what different is about it? the reel is the smallest and lightest bait cast reel I've ever used. The Kestrel weighs 4.4 ounces. Now get this for a bait caster. It can throw lures as light as a 16th ounce. Yeah. I said a 16th ounce over at I, when we were at ICAST this year, one of the things I, I saw more people doing was going into uh bait finesse systems. So being able to throw lighter lures with bait casters. Casking has come out with that Kestrel, 8.4 to 1. It weighs 4.4 ounces. The spool weighs 5.6 grams. There's nothing to it. My rod weighs more than the reel. Casting it into the wind the other day, and I did it on a post. I was able to throw it without a backlash, and I was throwing this right here, a 1 8 ounce finesse jig. Why? The spool or the brakes on it, when you throw it, the brakes spread out on the spool as the bait slows down and slows the spool down. It's incredible. I've, I've never seen a reel like this. Um, and this is it. This is the Kestrel. So think about this. Throwing balsa baits like Rappolis. Throwing small jerk baits. Even throwing a Ned rig. Throwing anything down to a 16th ounce. You can throw it on this Kestrel. It's crazy. I have not seen a reel. And it's like this big. It, it, it perfect for, for my hand size. It's a small reel, 4.4 ounces. The other reel that I've been using, and I threw on the show a little bit last year, was this. This is the Speed Demon Elite spinning reel. Check out that gear ratio, 7, 4 to 1. I love throwing, I love throwing uh, jerk baits on a spinning reel because I can throw them far. Okay. And in small mouth, one of the big keys is you got to stay off those fish. 
especially in real clear water. And so with a spinning reel, I can make those far casts. With a seven, four to one gear ratio, I can work that bait easier because it's less effort because the average spinning reel is five, three to one and sometimes five to one. So with a seven, four to one gear ratio, being able to skip a wacky worm under a dock, I can take a blind faster. Being able to throw a jerk bait, I can work it the same or faster with less effort. Okay. Where do you check out these prices? That Speed Demon Elite with 11 ball bearings is 99 bucks. Here's what I'm going to do. I was, and I bought these, just so you know, I bought the Speed Demon Elites. I bought them myself. Okay. But I am going to give you, Cast King gave me a discount to throw out. If you go to Cast King and put that code in, JC528FF, all caps, JC528FF, if you put that in, you will get 20% off anything on a Cast King site. Okay. I would highly recommend looking at that Castrol and looking at that Speed Demon Elite. I think you'll be impressed. Okay. Also, you can go to American Tackle. They've got some new products coming out. American Tackle Angler Products.com. Put in that code JCO20 at American Tackle Angler Products.com. 20% off anything on the entire site. Anything. All right. Again, there's a Cast King code. For those of you listening to us later, JC52AFF. That's 20% off on a Cast King. That's all in caps. JC52AFF. A lot of great things. Cast King works with American Tackle too. Use those discount codes to your advantage. Okay. You've got both discount codes there. Use them if you want to get something because some of those reels are absolutely, absolutely incredible. And I think you will be impressed. Okay, I am going to thank, again, once in a while, I want to thank all of you. Um, if you like this, please make sure that you pass this on to friends. Make sure uh, that you subscribe to us on YouTube. Make sure that you follow us on Instagram and continue to like us on Facebook. Thank you for everything watching. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give away a hat. Somebody comments tonight anyway. You don't have to do it now because we're almost at the end of the show. But we have our new Jim Crowley Outdoors hats, which some of you asked for. If you put a comment in now or after the show is over and uh, you know what, here's it. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Go to at Jim Crowley Outdoors on YouTube. If you subscribe to us, I think there's like 4,000 plus and growing now. If you subscribe to us on YouTube, let me know. First one who does, I will send you a Jim Crowley Outdoors hat. And you know me, I'll usually throw in a couple other goodies with that as well. So it was great, great to have Patch Lapper on tonight. We have some great guests and some other information coming up in the next few weeks. Some really fun stuff coming up. It's going to be fun. So I want to thank American Tackle again. Love you guys at American Tackle. Make sure you check out them at americantackleanglerproducts.com. Explore Lacrosse. If you haven't seen a new episode that I did for Jim Crowley Outdoors on Wired to Fish, go check it out. It uh, It's great on Lacrosse. It was cold but we caught the large mouth and small mouth and we had a lot of fun. Shields, I'll be going back there soon. If you want some Christmas gifts, Shields always has great sales. Biggest stock of Rapala in the area. Also a Fish 419 sunglasses. And just as Patch Lapper said, and I have for, for a long time, Shields is a store. They love their customers. They love what they get to do. Check out Shields, whatever area you're from. There's a Shields store there. Trust me, you'll be glad you did. We are powered by Dakota Lithium as well as all of you. We wouldn't have a show without you. I sincerely appreciate all of you being here tonight. We'll have another great show uh, next week. Thank you for everything. God bless you. Have a great rest of the week. See you soon.